Yes, sir. Mr. Chairperson of the session and dear audience, I welcome you all to my today's presentation, tranquil classification in compromised capsular access. I don't have any financial interest. Anterior capsule may be as usual smooth, fibrosed, wrinkled, plagued, pseudo exfoliated, and there may be sanity also. Compromised anterior capsule may be at the start of the rexis, may be at the midway, even may be at the end of the rexis. Anytime it may happen. Cause compromised rexis, rexis capsule, instrumental fault, improper handling, and sometimes without any reason. Tranquil compromised capsule rexis is a bit tricky. Proper handling of FACO Pro, proper FACO Dynamics, anterior chamber maintenance, and care to the capsule margin is utmost important. Here, I want to share a few videos. You see, it usually happens in the white, milky white cataracts. This is a case because just started the capsule axis. Doing fine. Dealing with the capsule axis for Things are going okay. And you can see there is the shear force which extended further. So I have cut the margin with the venous scissor, formed the capsule with the viscoelastics, and the rotated the nucleus. Now I started doing pacco. Sculpting is going on. Of the nucleus with chopping board, rotating, making a multiple piece, and doing the FACO classification slowly with controlled FACO power. You see, it is being done quite smoothly. Now, cortical removal is being done using the simple cannula to give less pressure on the capsule axis part. Then a foldable single piece interocular lens was implanted. I did not try to rotate too much and removing the remaining viscoelastics and the surgery is full. Here's another one. Again, it is a white milky white cataract. Now, AC was filled with viscoelastics, huge amount of liquid white material. It was aspirated with cannula. Then again, I started doing the capsule. Things are going very fine. But you see, just at this point, it is said. So I have to cut the margin. And here is the weak point. You see, the weak point is not trying to do Yeah. 
have a portion. So again, I will not try too much. Just with the chopping board, holding the nucleus, brought out in the capsule party. And slowly and slowly, fraternal multiplication was done. And here, very nicely, cortical removal was done with simple cannula. Now I try to introduce a foldable single post intro matrix. And unfortunately, you see the matrix was reversed. And I'm putting the nucleus less inside the bag. Probably the margin of the haptics touched the posterior capsule, so there was peace here. So entry vitrectomy was done, and the AC was cleared with of vitreous, and the whole uh, uh, chamber was filled with air, and the wound was closed. The surgery is over. The last one, again, a white cataract. As usual, we started. And you see, I tried to make a spiral axis again. What happened here, actually, I tried to remove some of the liquid material with cannula, cannula but, but with the end of the single cannula, margin of the capsule was touched, so there was extension. This time, I did not try to do the fracture because the consistency of nucleus is very high. So I enlarged the bone and remove the complete whole uh, nucleus with practice. And then cortical removal was done. And a PNM lens was put at the back. And the uh, bone was closed with tail monofilament nylon. Remaining disco elastics was removed. And the surgery is over. So, all this video I have shown, it is not a standard FACO surgery. Whenever the surgery is smooth, and things are going in my way, we can, we can complete it uh, very smoothly. But whenever there is anything un unusual, like the disruption of the capsule, we have to dispense the decision at the spot. We may go for, proceed to complete the FACO, or we may convert it to uh, SICS, or we may bring the complete nucleus and learn in the home. Things will depend on the situation. And we have to complete the surgery without making any complications to the patient. So pre prevention is better. Stain FACO is possible if there is any disrupted capsule. Careful not to extend at posterior further. Patient safety is the most important. Thank you very much for watching.